Hi, it's Michael Whitehouse, the guy who knows a guy with your motivational minute. Are you currently living the moments that you're going to look back on fondly? You never know when you are. You Sometimes you realize, you're like, this is a moment I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. And other times, you don't really think about it. At the beginning of the pandemic, when all I could do was work from home and didn't have anything else to really push towards, March, April, every Sunday, most Saturdays, uh, my wife would make uh, whipped coffee and bacon and eggs. We'd sit at that table right there in this dining room right here. And we'd eat the bacon, the eggs, and drink the whipped coffee, and maybe, you know, I'd watch some TV with Rowan and, and relax on a Sunday like today. Well, this Sunday, I'm working. This Sunday, our table is folded up in a corner and the room is full of boxes because we're about to move. And the reason we're moving is very exciting. We're buying a house. Opportunities have presented themselves in 2020, which have allowed us to buy our first house, which is amazing. But as I was making my juice this morning, because that's what I drink in the morning, that's what I eat in the morning now, is I make a juice with kale and celery and a few other things, which has some great health effects. I think back to that time that month or two when everything was closed down. And I thought at that time, you know, people were saying, if you don't come out of this with a new skill or a new whatever, and I'm like, dude, I am so stressed out. We're dealing with this distance learning. I got the kid here all the time. It's freaking me out. I can't focus. I'm trying to change how my business works and everything. Don't tell, talk to me about doing new things and taking on new skills or whatever. I don't have the headspace for that. And now I look back to it and I say, it was kind of nice not having to go anywhere, having our weekend breakfasts, relaxing. And now I'm building my business, and which is also very exciting. And you know, I'm working on the weekends voluntarily because I want to accelerate things. I want to get things ready. I want to get the Genosa conference up and running as quickly as possible. I want to get my, my uh, entrepreneurial accelerator, who I don't have a name for it yet, want to get that running as quickly as possible. My 21 days to a job program, I want to get that out and get that helping people. I want to get these promoted. I want to do more live casts. I've got so many things to do, which is awesome. Awesome. But still, I look back to the beginning of the pandemic and say, or the beginning of the quarantine and say, that was kind of nice. You know, it's kind of quiet in between when it was awful. It was kind of quiet. Uh, you know, I mean, dealing with the distance learning and the tantrums and everything wasn't great, but then the weekends were kind of nice. And I'm sure I'll look back at some parts of right now and think, that was kind of nice. And in fact, plenty of the parts are very nice as well. You know, one example of that where I found a, a unexpected island of joy. So I don't want to put my daughter on the bus. The schools have a great program in place. The buses, there's only so much you can do with the bus. It's a metal tube with closed windows when it gets cold. So I drive her to school, and then I drive her from school to the after-school program. And then either my wife or I pick her up for the after-school program. But this gives me 20 minutes, 10 minutes with her in the car twice a day during this process. And we have the most amazing conversations in the car. Six-year-olds are amazing to talk to if they're smart kids and my kid's a smart kid. And I look forward to being able to spend that time with her, having those little moments. Now, I could look at it and say, oh, man, this is so disruptive. Because, yeah, when, when you count it all up, I'm losing 75 minutes a day out of working time to have to drive her there and drive her back and wait for her and pick her up and all that. And I could look at it as disruptive, but instead I say, wow, this is, this is a great moment. It's a great moment that we have right here that I would not have had the opportunity for. In ordinary times, she'd just be on the bus. And, you know, my wife would take her to the bus stop and off she goes. And I might not even see her in the morning because I'd be working. So this gives us that moment. So look at your life right now, especially if you're looking at your life right now and saying, this is awful. This is the worst time in my life. This is the worst year I've ever had. What are the moments that you're going to look back on a year from now and say, wow, I kind of missed that. Wow, that was, that was good. I don't miss the whole thing. I wouldn't do it all again. But I missed that one thing. What's that one moment? And make sure you enjoy it right now. I'm Michael Whitehouse, the guy who knows the guy. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my email list, guywhoknowsaguy.com slash subscribe, and join the Confident, Connected, and Influential community on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash Confident, Connected. I do apologize for the light behind me messing up with the camera, but I did want to get all these boxes in the shot, so it is what it is, and those of you listening on audio, don't worry about the light. Just trust me, there's a whole lot of boxes behind me because we're moving and this is our staging area. 
See you tomorrow.